Hello ladies and gentlemen of the internet, it's RJ and once again this is Ultra Report. For our first piece of figure related news we have the Ultra Hero series number 45 Ultraman Zero Beyond. We've reached a new tier of laziness and holy shit this figure looks horrible. As you can see it's pretty much entirely unpainted silver vinyl which is the ugliest thing in existence as you can see it just kind of looks like there's some really cheap glitter in the mold. The worst part is you can see there's kind of some silver on the figure except it's only on the chest and look at that. Even though there's no paint on the rest of the figure they couldn't even be fucked to fill in the rest of the purple lines. Next up for our two deluxe releases this month, we have the Ultra Zero Eye Neo, which comes with the piece itself, as well as two capsules. And then a bundle release, which comes with everything the Jeet Riser comes with, as well as everything the Ultra Zero Eye Neo comes with, obviously at an increased price. Personally, I think this larger set would probably be the best option, mostly because it's cheaper than buying the two individually and you get a more complete experience. Not quite sure why Bandai didn't include the capsule holder and the belt, but who knows. And our final piece of figure related news, the SH Figure Arts Ultraman Orb Spatium Zeppelion is now up for pre-order, and it comes with the Sparium Ray as well as the Sparium Slash. For show related news, this month's Televicoon scans are nothing to write home about, but we do have three big pieces of information. First off, the Jeed Claw will finally be debuting despite being teased for over a month. Galactron will be coming back, even though he was just here in the Orb movie. And finally, we have in-series pictures of the Ultraman Zero Beyond suit, and you're not fucking slick, Subaraya. For our final segment, we have more leaks. First up, Belial Atrocious will be comprised of two capsules, namely Empress Sajin from Ultraman Mebius and Dark Lugiel from Ultraman Ginga. Funnily enough, the best show and the absolute worst show. Next up, Zengon is actually its own unique kaiju instead of a fusion. And finally, Chimero Barros. Despite looking like neither of its components, it's fused with Five King and Zogu. I'm not quite sure where that one comes from. And this has been the second Ultra Report. Hopefully it's not as terrible as the first one, and hopefully it continues to improve. Thanks for watching, everyone.